<laughs> Here we go. We're starting over. Right, we no, need let's clap do the before. clap again. Okay. That was cool. Should we, we clap? You wanna, okay, all right. Three, two, one. <laughs> that was so not in sync. Let's try it again. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Welcome to Monday Magic. My name is Rob Green. I am a photographer and educator based out of Fort Worth, Texas. And each week I'm here to bring you tips, tricks, and inspiration to help you build your business, wow your clients, and create photo magic. And I am so stoked because today we are in the presence of greatness. We have Miss Hadley Schultz here. Hadley is a phenomenal wedding planner and she is gonna talk about something that I think is so valuable for any photographer that's thinking about getting into wedding space to know and that's how to build great relationships with wedding planners. So Hadley, just as we're kicking off here, tell us a little bit about how did you get into being a wedding planner? Yeah, sure. So I spend the majority of my younger days in college and post-college in the event world. So that was more so marketing, but I loved getting to meet all these new people, go to all these fun events, plan them, and it was always different. It was always a different crowd, different people, loved it. So then and it wasn't until I planned my first wedding that I was like, wait, the wedding world is actually really fun and I can use all my knowledge of years of watching David Turtero with my mother to good use. So I planned my first wedding and then my friends started to ask me to help me with theirs and then their friends started asking me and I was like, I need to be getting paid for this. This is a great market to tap into. So here we are a few years later and I'm doing it. And, and this is why I have her here to talk about this because I have no idea who David Torterra even is. <laughs> no. uh, but so she does, she's the yeah. rock star. So uh, now you have, since all this started, you moved to Nashville and have started yeah. your business really yeah. in Nashville. Yes. And not just in Nashville, but in COVID. In the middle of COVID, <laughs> this girl gets her business off the ground yeah. and thriving. So. Yeah. I have had the privilege of working with Hadley on a number of different wedding uh, related things. And so Hadley, I would love to know from, from a planner's mind and heart, yeah. what, what does a photographer who is getting into this, who's getting into the wedding space, or maybe they've been in it for a while and they're just feeling like they're not gaining any traction in relationships with planners, what are some of those hallmarks of photographers that you as a wedding planner love to work with that yeah. maybe the rest of us can be learning from as we're thinking about growing our own businesses? I think I have a top four. It kind of boils down to <laughs> Love it. So number one is treat the planner like a teammate and not an opponent, right? Mm, okay. Like we all, that's the biggest thing of my job is bringing all these different vendors together because it's a different team every single weekend, right? It's never the same vendor. So bringing everyone together to work together in a space that might be new to them. So for photographers especially, it is so important to work hand in hand together on timelines and executing the family photos, the couple's photos, getting rid all of it because if you're working on one timeline and I'm working on another timeline, it's gonna clash. So if we can work together, create something yeah. magic together and learn to lean into one another because stuff always comes up on the day of, you know that. Um, totally. And we can't freak out because if we're freaking out, then our couples are freaking out <laughs> totally. and then the day is well, we're just done, so. That's so good, yeah. I, I mean, I even remember starting out as a photographer and like, not having a whole real background in wedding world and going, man, like who are these wedding planners? They're coming in, they have all these ideas, but it wasn't until I realized, man, like wedding planners are some of the biggest heroes yeah. on a wedding day because you guys can take so much pressure off our plates. Yeah. And if you've ever shot a wedding with a planner that's an awesome planner like Hadley versus without a planner, it makes a massive difference. So I love the way you said it, like a teammate and not an yeah. opponent. Well, that's the thing because if you don't have one, this is what I tell all of my couples. So all my couples listening, I'm sorry. If this is like, I'm beating a dead <laughs> horse, but like if I'm not here to help you, then you are stuck hurting everyone together. You are stuck moving vendors around or moving the couple around and then you can't do your job and then you can't get your pictures taken. A hundred percent. Most brides think, I, I ask them this all the time, I'm like, hey, if you don't have a planner, who is gonna be the one that is managing the timeline and making sure everybody's where they're supposed to be when they're supposed to be there? Yeah. 
they're always like, oh, it's gonna be me, or oh, it's gonna be my mom. But oh my but that, the reality is it falls on us as photographers if there's not a planner. So I'm like, man, you you want, <laughs> you want a planner there because that's what frees us up to yeah. do our jobs on wedding day. And that's you so don't good. know that till you don't know. So totally. like save yourself and give yourself some peace of mind, I Abs swear. <laughs> absolutely, that's a great one. Yeah, so yeah. What, what else you got for us? Hadley? Number two is gonna be the photos revolve around the day and not the day around the photos. Oh, now that one, that one cuts deep I for know, me as a I'm photographer. Sorry, tell tell me sorry. about this, because there's so much truth in this. Listen, if if we are on your wedding day and we're like, oh, we gotta be here to get this photo and then we gotta be here because Aunt Susie needs this and my mom wants to print this above her fireplace, then where's the magic? Like then it's not authentic, it's not mm -hmm. organic. You want those pictures to be candid and in the moment and so you can be like, oh, I remember that moment, we were having so much fun doing this, this and this and not like, oh, this was staged because it was on our wedding photo list, which is totally fine and those photos are necessary, but it's having that healthy balance between the two. And even if you're somebody that's like, hey, I don't have a very candid style, a lot of my stuff is posed, mm -hmm. think about it like this. Our number one priority, we are in the people business more than the photography business. So our top priority is really to serve these people. And on their wedding day, yes, they're gonna wanna have great pictures to look back on, but they, they also need to be able to enjoy themselves on the wedding day. And if they're constantly just being ushered from one photo op to the next and aren't actually able to enjoy all the people that came to Celebrate, celebrate with them from all over, <laughs> yes. then we've really done them a disservice by taking that opportunity to be present with their friends and family away yeah. from them. So That's great. important. I love so that. Important. I love that. Number three, share your work. <laughs> so share good. Share it. Share it. I, again, I've worked with the best vendors in the world, I swear, but like my thing is, is People want to share the magic, right? And especially vendors, I think this is a point that needs to be taken more seriously. Like, I'm tagging all my vendors because then they're sharing that to their thousand followers, and then they're sharing that to their followers, and this is so it's true. spreading like wildfire. And when you get a few photos back from the photographer a couple days after or a week after, while the momentum is hot and everyone's still excited and coming off the wedding high, you. What, why, why wouldn't you? Absolutely. Y'all, I, I can attest to this personally. We send a gallery out to every vendor that was involved in the day because I know that without their contributions to the wedding day, I, my photos are toast. Yeah. So, you know, great florals, great hair and makeup, great venues, great planners, all these things are what make my photos so great to take. Yeah. So, Every time I send these out to vendors, almost literally almost every single time I get back an email from a vendor that is like, thank you, no photographer ever sends us the pictures. Almost every single wedding I shoot, I get an email like this back. So this is an easy way to stand out from the crowd. And if I'm yeah. hearing you right, you're going, as a planner, Please. that's an easy way to stand <laughs> yeah. out to me. I like yeah. having those photos. Yes, because not only do I love going over them with my couples, like I will just go, oh my gosh, this one's so cute. Like, blah. But I genuinely look back at my couple's pictures all the time. Mm -hmm. I love, because I was there to share that with them. I love it. It's a happy time. So good. Yeah. All right, you said four. I think we've hit three. What's, what's the right. last one? Be the kind of vendor other people want to hang out with. Period. That is <laughs> okay. my biggest one ever. That's it. That's, I love it's it. It's that simple, but it's also that difficult. If I'm not able to have a good time with you guys and celebrate with you, then it feels like a job and it feels not organic. It, it mm. just, ooh, it's off. Yeah, I mean, I, I know for me, like if I'm gonna spend nine, 10 hours a day with some people, they better be fun people to hang out with. Like yeah. I remember I shot a wedding in another state. I won't say which state, just <laughs> another state, um, not Texas. <laughs> and this uh, one particular DJ at this wedding we went to literally said to us before the wedding, I'm just here for a paycheck and a referral. Oh my gosh. And I just thought to myself in that moment, I hope I never work with you again. That's not a fun wedding day. That's not a fun person to be around. No. And as photographers, it, I mean, it doesn't matter how good my photos are. If people don't like working with me. What's the point? Like, 
that's it that I make friends with the bridesmaids with the groomsmen the the parents are crying to me at the end of every single night because we build that relationship and if that relationship's not there as your foundation there really is no point because then my bride's not gonna refer me to her friends and then what did, where does your business go and here's the deal y'all brides lean on people like Hadley very heavily in the wedding planning process yeah. so you want to make a great impression on Hadley and planners like her because they're going to be the ones that your brides are listening to going, hey, who should I hire for this spot? Yeah. Who can I build that trust with? So just to recap then, yeah. we've got you want to treat the planner like a teammate and not an opponent. Yep. Yeah. We gotta remember as photographers, the day does not revolve around the photos, the photos revolve around the day. Y'all share your work, don't, and I'll add this too, we talked about a little bit about this earlier too, is like, share it time efficiently, like don't wait months and months. People, we live in an Instagram world and people need to get their photos back. Like it yeah. doesn't take too much effort to send a few sneak peeks within 24 hours. So if you're not doing that, jump on it. Easy way to make a great impression. Uh, and then finally, be the kind of vendor that other people just love to hang around. Because if they don't love to hang around you, doesn't matter how good your work is, they're not gonna refer you. Amen. Hadley, you are a gem. It has been so great having you here. I love that yes. we're gonna do this face this to face. Is this is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. um, thanks, if people want to Follow along with you and hear more about your story. How can they connect yeah. with you? Hadley Brook Events. I'm all over it. That's my, I love Instagram. That is my preferred platform. So. Instagram. Got it. So Instagram, yeah. Hadley Brook Events. Definitely give her a follow. Hey, this has been great. Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, each week we are here giving you tips, tricks, and inspiration to help you build your business, wow your clients, and make photo magic. So if you like today's video, be sure to like, leave a comment below, and subscribe. Can't wait to see you next time on Monday Magic.